Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to deliver your PDF or your ebook um, using ClickFunnels. So you're going to use ClickFunnels and an autoresponder and you're going to be able to follow this walkthrough. So I'm filming this video as a result, like as a, an uh, announcer for the questions that I got today from a couple of people and they were asking like how to do this process step by step. So I'm going to show you how to create this ebook or PDF or checklist and then how to create a funnel. Uh, I have a, a done um, video where I, I show you how to create that funnel and it's called an opt-in funnel or a squeeze page where you're getting, you're basically giving this as a lead magnet, as an incentive or as a freebie in order to get the email and then to um, be able to market to that person and you're, you're going to know based on the lead magnet that they wanted. So they wanted this thing. So for example, they wanted 20 things to improve their conversions on their Shopify stores. Then you know a couple of things about them. You know they have a Shopify store and you know they are interested to improve conversions. So you can um, add them to a list and then market to them solutions. So you know they have a problem and you're going to be able to offer them solutions to that problem. But first you need them to get them on the list. So I'm going to show you I give you a look here in my computer. You can see I, I have this um, file which I give for people who um, are interested to improve Shopify conversions. And I have this funnel which I made, which is nickcourse.com slash Shopify CRO. So CRO stands for uh, conversion rate optimization. And as you can see here, it's a really simple page where they can uh, get this file from me. And as a result, they're going to get on my list and I'm going to know that they are interested in Shopify and in improving Shopify conversion. That's what I specialize in. So that's where I can provide a solution. So I give them this file and I created it in Google Docs, as you can see here. So it's in Google Docs. I created 20 things they can do. And then I exported this file as a PDF so that um, it's protected. So it's my, my own writing here and uh, nobody can use it. Uh, for commercial purposes. So I exported it as, so I downloaded it as PDF. So that's as simple as it gets. You don't need any additional uh, tools. You can use uh, Google Docs and then you're going to be able to export this and then you need to upload this into your ClickFunnels. So if you don't have ClickFunnels, then there should be a link down below for the 14 day trial. And when you're going to get 14 day trial with my link, you're going to get a bunch of bonuses and you can see the link for the bonuses below as well. So um, that's it. So you, you can see here digital assets in the top right menu. You can see digital assets. And that's where you are going to upload that PDF that you downloaded from uh, Google Docs. And as you can see here, I already have it. And now what you need to do is to copy the link. So you're going to click on these three dots here and you're going to copy asset path. So this is what you need to do. In order to send it, like after they get it, you're gonna send it to them. So to send it, you need an autoresponder. Now you have two options. Either you're gonna use Action Edits from ClickFunnels, which is uh, their integrated uh, autoresponder, and it, it's a part of the 297 plan, and you're gonna need to create the follow up funnels. So you'll create um, a list for those who are gonna subscribe through this lead magnet. And then when people are added to list, the first email that you're going to set up in your action ethics and follow up funnels is going to be the link to this path. And they're going to receive uh, this lead magnet from you. And then you can continue marketing to them. So after two days, you send them another email. Hey, check this out. Check this offer that, offer that we have. Okay, so that's with action ethics. But I'm going to walk you through the process of creating it with um, active campaign. So active campaign is the best autoresponder. I, I tested about six of them and active campaign is the best one for automations. It makes it really easy to manage automations and to create them. And it does a better job than action ethics at the moment, but I know that they're improving action ethics right now. So uh, I'm going to show you in active campaign how I do this. So as you can see here, this is my account. There should be a link below and you can get, um, you can get 14 day trial for action ethics as well. And when you're going to get it, uh, I'm going to give you also a bonus. I'm going to give you swipe files um, that are high converting for me. So 
as you can see here in action edits, this is how in uh, active campaign sorry so this is how it looks like so you're, you're gonna need to go to automations so after you create your account here in the left menu this uh, fourth icon is automations and then you click on it and you're gonna have zero automation so you're gonna create a new automation and it's gonna be you can type in here so you're gonna see deliver so this is opt-in incentive delivery so they have a special automation for this so uh, you're gonna continue and now here you need to uh, select a trigger so what will be the trigger that will um, enter this automation and what I do as a trigger is when a tag is added so you're gonna go with um, tag is added tag added here and you're gonna um, choose a name for the tag so I usually do um, something related to the niche that I'm I am um, um, targeting so it's gonna be like Shopify for example and then where did they come from where, where they can you can start with uh, the lead magnet name so for example CRO and then Shopify like you see I, I already have this so I'll do this and then you can choose either it will run once so when somebody people can submit their um, details in your funnel more than once so if they're gonna go for example they're gonna lose this file and they can go again to your funnel and they're gonna enter their email and they're, they're gonna be tagged again with this tag and they're gonna enter this automation again so I'll, I'll do multiple times and then add start so after this you remove this tag you're gonna add this tag in ClickFunnels so I'm gonna show you how in a moment so in this email you're gonna uh, add the link to the um, file that you created to your ebook checklist or your PDF and you can do any of these templates you can do for example uh, personal email so we're gonna use this template and you're gonna enter the subject hey here's your uh, PDF okay we're gonna continue and then you copy the link from here so copy a set path and then go here and just like write your text whatever it is so here's your PDF boom and paste this link you can paste but you can see it doesn't look really good so you can instead of pasting the link you can paste it like for um, for text so you're gonna select some text here and then click on this link and then you're gonna paste the link and you're gonna save it and now when somebody will cl click on this text they will open that PDF okay and now I'm gonna show you from the click funnel side how this looks like so if I go to my funnels and I go to the to one of the funnels so for example I'm gonna go to this um, lead magnet so I have multiple lead magnets and that's what you should do as well so for example for those who are doing e-commerce with click funnels I have this lead magnet uh, which is gonna give them a um, funnel so if I open this it's a two step so the first step is where I it's a squeeze page this is a squeeze page where I collect the information so it's name and email so when somebody enters name and email they're gonna enter that automation in active campaign and this is where you're gonna connect your active campaign with um, click funnel so you're gonna go to settings here and then go to integrations and then you're gonna select your active campaign and then you're gonna select add to list with tag and then you're gonna add to the list that you have for example you're doing like uh, weight loss or I don't know like what is your niche uh, like financial or real estate or uh, e-commerce maybe and then you're gonna add to that list and add, uh, and add a tag and this tag will be the trigger for the automation so in this case it's gonna be e-com funnel so when, when a tag e-com funnel is added so I'm gonna show you in the automation so that you understand how this looks like so in this case we can add here like when a tag ecom funnel is added then they're gonna receive this email and it's gonna be immediately and you can like if you don't want it to be delivered immediately then you can add wait time so you can go to here to conditions and workflow and then add wait time and you can add for example like uh, 20 minutes so you want them to first watch a video before um, receiving that um, lead magnet or that freebie, that ebook that you have. 
Okay, so this is a, as simple as it gets. It's really simple. I made it so that you understand the first part, the second part, and the third part. So you can use either Active Campaign or Actionetics. There should be links below and bonuses for signing up for the, with those because I'm a partner of ClickFunnels and I promote it. I use it myself every day. So I hope you got value from this video. You can find multiple um, how-to videos on this channel, multiple information about uh, multiple videos with information about how to grow your funnel, how to develop your uh, company online. And um, I, if you like this content, then leave a like. If you have any questions about how to um, integrate it with another other respondent, feel free to reach out to me below. There should be a link to my messenger. Also, you can write comments here. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when I release a new video. And I'll see you tomorrow in my next video.